with you tonight. Oh. So we sat and waited until oh. night came. Yeah, I love the night time. Oh, the stars come out and the moon. Oh, it's my favorite time. <laughs> come on. So we did things that oh. Sense It likes to yeah. do, oh. like slide down yeah, the sleeping yeah, Zaboomafuasaurus. Oh. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> yep! Whoa. Hey, come here. Watch this. And then we bounced on Snoozing Whoa. Goobble, and we played and played all night long. Whoa. And that's how I met my new friend, Sensit. And believe me, he's not scary, he's fun! The end. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> hey, everybody! Hello? Hey, everybody? Oh, no. It looks like my story put everybody to sleep. Oh, no. Huh? No, Zob, it wasn't your story. It was just the milk and exercise. That'll make any grizzly bear a little sleepy. Time to wake up. But now it's time to get on the move. Hey, I think they're heading home. Bye, Long Claw. Bye, Tough Tooth. See ya. I like getting to know monsters that aren't monsters. Hey, do you know any other creatures that are like that? Huh? Incoming! Duck! Duck? Well, I know ducks. They're not scary at all. <laughs> Kind of a duck. Hi, Tomato Head. You're not scary. Well, you know that, and I know that, and Martin knows that, but some people think turkey vultures are scary. Turkey vultures aren't scary. Well, well, <laughs> he, no, he's not scary. Well, he brought a message from the animal helpers. Hi, Martin. Hi, Chris. Hi, Zabu. Amy here with my friend Dinya, who's a great animal helper. Six months ago, she found an orphan baby skunk. Dinya took care of him, but now he's old enough to learn how to be on his own. A skunk will spray when he's scared, so Danielle holds him really gently. At first, the skunk will live in a halfway house, and Danielle will visit him and feed him a little. After a while, he'll find his own food, and it'll be time for him to go back in the wild, where he belongs. No one should be afraid of skunks. They won't hurt you, as long as you're quiet and give them lots of space. I want to have a party. I want to have a party for all the animals that people think are scary. Yeah, and I'll call it a uh, fear fest. Well, one of your huh? guests has already arrived. Oh. A spitting cobra from Africa. Manga Zika. A spitting cobra? Oh, yes, perfect. He looks very scary. You'll be perfect for the fear fest party. All right, so we have one scary creature for the fear fest party. But for a really great party, you need a lot of creatures. I know where we can go where there's a creature so scary even bears and tigers are afraid. Let's grab our stuff and go to, to India. India! Sounds like a trip to me. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Now or never. Do it, brother. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet Let's go. and they're headed out the door. Eyes up! Now I can set up my fear fest party. <laughs> uh, that way, Chris! We're here in India, searching for the Indian wild dogs. But who knows where they could be? Because these wild dogs move around a lot, and they move around fast. So it's a good thing we're riding around in our trusty four-wheeler, because that way we can... What happened? Our wheels fell off. There they go. <laughs> what did you say about our trusty four-wheeler? <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> Oh no, the wild dogs. Now we're never gonna find them unless they find us. Look, in the grass. Indeed, wild dogs. Or you can call them doles. Either way, they're an amazing creature. <laughs> Indian wild dogs are incredibly social creatures. Like most canines, they live in packs and watch out for each other. And their hearing is amazing too. And they're constantly on the move, listening for prey. These wild dogs are incredible. They're so spry and agile. It's almost like they're bouncing around. Hey, something's got their attention. Of course, back to their kill for more to eat. They're feeding on a cheetle deer. Wild dogs have caught a deer, 
but they're not going to be able to eat in peace. A lot of other creatures want a piece of the action, including vultures and crows. We can see the crows waiting in the trees, trying to swoop down and get a snack. But the wild dogs are onto them. The vultures stand ready, waiting for a chance to swoop in. The dogs are watching really closely. They're not ready to let their lunch go just yet. A quick charging dog sends the birds flying. Indian wild dogs don't like to see other creatures eating their food, but with their bellies full, they get tired of chasing the birds away. So eventually, they leave their kill to the scavenging birds and move on. Well, the wild dogs are out of here, and it's time for us to get out of here too. You know what, Chris? I'm already feeling a little tired. I know what you mean, brother. I know what you mean. Oops, I was doing better with his beer fest party than we did with our truck. Yeah, we'll soon find out. Where is he anyway? Hey, Zabu? Zabu, when the storm come back? Welcome to Fear Fest. Be the creatures who give you the shivers. The creatures you see in the dark. Whoa! I know that laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Zabu. I made this scary creature. <laughs> you made it? Yeah, I uh, got some building tips from watching you guys build the things that you built. That's how I made this fear fest monster. That's our Zabu. What an amazing lemur. <laughs> well, you thought it was a scary monster, right? But inside is a different creature who's not so scary. <laughs> me. Hey, the storm's over. Martin? Chris, meet all my Fear Fest party friends. Jaguar. Oh, and my friend Cobra. <laughs> There's I I. And my friend Vulture. Oh, buddy Tarantula. <laughs> oh, eh, wolf friends. Oh. And of course my buddy Bat. Oh, and Corn Snake and Scorpion too. What a great turnout! Hey. <laughs> you have a lot of great animal friends. Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? They came from all over. Well, because they didn't want to miss my Fear Fest party. <laughs> Everybody's here. A Wolverine, too. He's one of the toughest members of the Weasel family, but not scary at all when you get to know him. Well, here's Pinterong. Oh, you remember Popcorn. He looks scary, but he's really a friendly fruit eater. Oh, and there's Jaguar. <laughs> he's tough on basketballs, but he's just another tough creature you don't need to be scared of. None of them are scary. Hey, there's a Gila monster. He's one of the only lizards with a poisonous bite. But if you just give him his space, there's no problem. And the wolves! Wild howlers and great prowlers, but really peaceful and shy creatures who just want to be left alone and do their own thing. Hey, it's a great party full of animal friends. Happy Fear Fest! A party is always fun. Hey, it's just like in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sensit. Oh, 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 hi, Sensit. Hi, Zabu. Oh, Zabu. We're bored. No, we don't know what to do. Oh, I hear something. It's Google. Anybody want to come to a scary face party? Oh, it's Google. Hello. He wants to know if we want to come to a scary face party. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to a scary face party. Yeah, yeah, go. Well, yeah. let's go. And so we did. And everybody couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> Can't wait. Summer's scary to me. Oh, yeah, because there's no snow. Yeah. Oh, what do I like better? Being scary or being scared? No. Yeah, I'm scary because I'm... Oh, why am I scary again? Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to my scary oh, face yeah, party. Yeah, okay, oh. let's start making scary faces. Oh. And so we did. Oh. Each of us had our own oh. special scary face. Oh. They were all oh. different, and they were all really scary. Oh. And the scary face party oh. lasted oh. all oh. afternoon. Oh. Scary. Oh. Oh. I am. Oh. 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 Happy Beer Fest. Remember, get to know an animal before you decide to be afraid of it. That's right, because if you understand an animal, you can know how to get along with them, and they can all be our animal friends. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends.
friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Well, the party doesn't have to end here. You want to stay around and watch me walk my monster through a wall? Oh, yeah! That's something a monster would do. Go right down the hatch. Woohoo! <laughs> See you next time. Is that you going all the way to Madagascar in that? Hi, my name's Connor. This is my cat named Shadow. Hi, we're the Crap Brothers, and we never get too close to an animal we don't know. Remember, always give an animal her space. And if you're a kid, never get too close to an animal, unless an adult says it's okay. Right, Sabu? To find out more about Zabumafu, visit pbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. And now some jokes from Zabumafu. Did you know that an elephant's trunk is the longest nose in the world? And an elephant can do a lot with that trunk. First of all, an elephant drinks by sucking water into her trunk and then squirting it up into her mouth. And when she goes swimming, an elephant uses her trunk to breathe. She sticks it out of the water just like a snorkel. And of course, there's nothing better on a hot savanna day than a cooling dust bath. With dust blown out by that trunk. Hey, Martin! Yeah, buddy? Um, how are a tree and an elephant alike? Tell me, Zabu. They both have a trunk. Wasn't that funny? Did you know that squirrels eat a lot of nuts? This squirrel can eat about 500 acorns in a week. Hey, and a red squirrel can eat the seeds of 150 pine cones in a day. Hey, Martin. Yes, sir. Uh, Let me make friends with the squirrel. I don't know how. Climb a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Zabumafu was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. PBS We're letting this cat out of the bag. Coming up next, it's Sako, the Chinese Siamese cat on PBS Kids. You're the face of the new America. My eyes are blue. Her hair is blonde. My teeth are white. My best friend has black skin. Her nails are pink. My hair is long. I've got freckles. Do you see them? His eyes are hazel, a combination of brown and blue. Color is everything and nothing. Color is everything Color and is nothing. everything and nothing. Embrace differences to make a difference. <laughs> PBS Kids! This program was made possible by your support of your local PBS station. Fishy, fishy. Next on Sagwa, 